Let's take a look at some other world news now. Protesters in Senegal opposing the postponement of presidential elections are fighting with police in the capital, Dakar. The election was due later this month, but pushed to December. The opposition is accusing President Macky Sall of trying to stay in office despite reaching a two-term limit. The Justice Minister says the postponement is unconstitutional and was decided by Parliament and not the President. Nicholas Huck joins us from the Senegalese capital, Dakar, and take us through how those protests are looking now. The streets look relatively more quiet, or is it a, a deceptive calm, Nicholas, that we're looking at? A deceptive calm is more like it, an eerie calm, because it's broken, this silence, by the sound of tear gas. Look behind me, on every street corner, there is billowing, like, smoke, and protesters have shut down every street corner that we are, where we are. And we're seeing security forces really overrun, at least in this neighborhood. We're just a block away from where the gathering was supposed to take place, what was supposed to be a peaceful demonstration against the move by President Macky Sall, as you explained it, to delay the elections. But look at the state of affairs now in what is normally one of the most stable democracies in the region. Now, there was a vote on Monday in the National Assembly that rubber-stamped this election that will now take place in February uh, 50, uh, in December 15th of this year. The United States says that that, uh, that vote is not legitimate. Why? Well, because we saw the, the security forces that you see on the streets here, we saw them inside the National Assembly. Now, moments ago, we also spoke to a government spokesperson, one of the ministers, cabinet ministers of President Mike Sall. He says that this protest is illegal and it is the job of the government to ensure stability. But protesters say that what President Sal is doing is creating the instability that we see here. And that's why we're seeing security forces, he says, trying to clamp down on protests, including inside the National Assembly, where we saw extraordinary scenes on Monday, where police in, in riot gear came inside the National Assembly to push out opposition protesters that were inside. Now, people here are dressed in white. They've been asked by, I just, let's just turn around, just turn around, Maggie, just to show people, the people that are here. They've dressed in white and yellow and red. Those are the colors of Senegal. That was a call by civil society to show their defiance towards the decision taken by President Macky Sall. Schools have been shut at, on the orders of the unions of teachers, so students have been let out early. We are in uncharted waters here. It is unusual to see scenes like this. The police are, are just coming here, and they're responding by firing tear gas. Come over here, let me just show you where we are. On that side, we have police firing tear gas. And look at what the protesters are doing. They're picking up rocks and responding. There's so much anger on the streets of the Senegalese capital. This is unusual for what is normally the most stable democracy. They feel like they've been robbed of their ability to vote in these elections that were supposed to take place on February 27. For the government, though, this is all illegal. They have to ensure the stability of the country. The president has called for national dialogue, for people to sit down, calm down, and discuss the situation, including leaders of the opposition and civil society. But this has clearly fallen on deaf ears. Look at the protesters here, holding their rocks, ready and defiant in the face of security forces. Sammy? Nicholas, while we're looking at this scene, I think the question that comes to mind is, should we interpret the posture we're seeing of security forces as indicative of solid support from the security establishment for the president? That might be a key deciding factor, right, in his ability to stay on. 
he definitely has the support. Sorry, the tear gas coming here our way. He definitely has the support of the security apparatus. This is unusual. People in Senegal don't like to take it to the streets. For the anger to spill on the streets, that means that there was somewhere a moment where the communication lines between the people and the decisions taken in the presidential palace have broken down. And it's an issue of trust now for a lot of people here. Can they trust the security forces meant to protect them? Or is the security forces or are the security forces protecting the president and his decision? People here feel that the security forces are paid by the state and they Nicholas, should be protecting Nicholas, I just want to check, them. do we need to let you go and take but cover or are you all right says, and our crew there? Yeah. I just want to make sure oh, you're okay. safe. We're okay. We're okay here. We're okay here. I, I, we're okay. And I just want to show you how people are protecting themselves. They just go inside their homes and hide inside these buildings in order to protect themselves from security forces. And it's very difficult for police to operate in these narrow streets where we're seeing running battles between security forces and the police. And every time the police moves, the protesters moves in and set up checkpoints and blocks the roads. They're determined to get their voices heard. And why is there so much anger? Well, there's been ahead of this um, the, the internet that has been shut down. There is a main opposition television channel in the country that has been taken off there. So elements of civil society and the opposition feel like they're not able to get their voices heard. And that's why you're seeing so much anger. And I want to show you the people of Senegal that are protesting here. They're pretty young. They were. President Macky Sall was 18, it was 12 years ago that President Macky Sall came to power. These people were not in the age of voting. So they were hoping that in this election, they would have gotten the chance to vote. Macky Sall is saying they will get a chance to have their say, just not now, when things are more calm and stable on December 15th. Sammy? Thanks so much, Nicholas Hart, reporting to us on a very fluid situation of protests there in Dakar.